भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नारम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रायशु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोक भक्तिरभवती नैष्टी हरे कृष्णा रीडिंग श्रीमद भागवत सेकेंड कैंटो नाइन्थ चैप्टर थर्टी एट श्लोक द कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन लॉर्ड विष्णु एंड लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा वॉज डिस्कस्ड अंटिल श्लोक नंबर थर्टी सेवन वेयर ब्रह्मा जी डिड तपस्या भगवान विष्णु वॉज प्लीज विद द तपस्या ऑफ ब्रह्मा जी एंड देन ब्रह्मा जी गॉट द दर्शन ऑफ वैकुंठ लोका ब्रह्मा जी कुड सी लॉर्ड विष्णु फेस टू फेस एंड देन ब्रह्मा जी आज सम क्वेश्चन टू भगवान विष्णु एंड लॉर्ड विष्णु आंसर दैट अलॉन्ग विद दैट लॉर्ड विष्णु ग्लोरिफाइड ब्रह्मा जी फॉर हिज ऑस्टेरिटीज एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑस्टेरिटी लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा जी कुड टेक द दर्शन ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु सो इन द लास्ट श्लोका वी लर्न दैट टू अंडरस्टैंड श्रीमद भागवतम टू टेक दर्शन ऑफ लॉर्ड वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड क्वालिफिकेशन ऑस्टेरिटी तपस्या विदाउट तपस्या वी कैन नॉट सी द गॉड और वी कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड श्रीमद भागवतम and the one of the tapasya which is recommended is to reduce the sense gratificatory activities as much as possible and use all the senses in service of krishna so fasting chanting all these are tapasya for the kali yuga tapasya recommended is chanting the hari krishna maha mantra so tapasya means to get out of the comfort zone and do something which is which feels inconvenient but which is good for our spiritual life so that is tapasya so that conversation is over now shukdev goswami who is reciting shrimad bhagavatam to parikshit maharaj he is saying this shloka shukdev goswami is saying shushuka vacha sampradha ishvayam agnano जनामेष्ठिन पश्य पश्य तदूप आत्मनो न्ययुण धार्य ट्रांसलेशन सुखदेव गोस्वामी से टू परीक्षित महाराज द सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड हैड हरि आफ्टर बीइंग सीन इन इज ट्रांसडेंटल फॉर्म instructing brahma ji the leader of the living entities disappeared so shukdev goswami continues the katha brahma ji took the darshan of lord shri hari because of his own austerities brahma ji did austerity tapa for long long time and when brahma ji got the darshan of lord vishnu then brahma ji uh, then lord vishnu disappeared but brahma ji got the benefit of darshan as well as instruction from lord which was the benefit of his austerities purport shila prabhuji says in this verse it is clearly mentioned that the lord is ajanaha or supreme person and that he was showing his transcendental form atmano rupam to brahma ji while instructing him in the summarization of shrimad bhagavatam in four verses so lord lord is described as ajanaha ajana means the supreme person he is ajana or supreme person among jananam all the persons all living entities are individual persons and among all such persons lord hari is supreme as confirmed in shruti mantra nityo nityanam chetaso chetasanam chetana so bhagwan krishna or lord vishnu is the supreme 
supreme means there is nobody higher than him uh, so lord Bhag lord vishnu is called as ajanaha so janaha means people ajanaha means the supreme among the people or also called as jananam jananam means all the people all the so which includes like devi devatas also human beings also people on the all planetary system everybody is included but lord hari lord shri vishnu bhagwan krishna is the supreme personality of godhead shuti mantra nityo nityanam chetasa chetananam also confirms this so there is no place for impersonal feature in the transcendental world as there are impersonal features in the material world so as he is a supreme person person means the personality person means the person who has a mouth face eyes nose ears everything is there but then some people believe that god has no form which is called as impersonal realization which is not true god is person as we all are person we have a personality similarly god has personality but only difference between the personality of supreme personality of godhead and us is that lord's personality is spiritual it never deteriorates our body deteriorates as the time goes by the sharira becomes jirna and it dies one day but the supreme personality of godhead his body never deteriorates he always remains ever youthful whenever there is chetna or knowledge the personal feature comes in in the spiritual world everything is full of knowledge and therefore everything in the transcendental world the land the water the tree the mountain the river the man the animal the bird everything is of the same quality namely chetna and therefore everything there is individual and personal so this is one of the thing chetna chetna uh, or the knowledge chetna also means consciousness actually so shri chaitanya mahaprabhu his name is chaitanya chaitanya also means chetna which means that supreme consciousness or also defined as knowledge in my opinion yes so uh, everything is full of knowledge and consciousness uh, that knowledge is everything transcendental knowledge so here shil prabhu ji writes therefore everything in the transcendental world is full of same quality namely chetna therefore everything there is individual and personal so in the supreme world water is also there is a personality presiding like a sun god there is a personality it is not that sun is just a planet there is a personality who is presiding the sun god sun so there is a person for example for wind also there is a person what is that personality the vayu devta for the moon also there is a personality which is called as chandra devta for the fire there is a personality which is called as agni devta so there is a personality everywhere there is a chetana everywhere it is not that all these are matter like for earth there is a personality dharti mata for water there is a ganga mata like that so there is a personality everywhere it is individual persons because this is a spiritual whatever we see in the material is the same thing in the spiritual world with the person and uh, this is what is said here that everything there is individual uh, we cannot that is why even we worship uh, uh, all the plant plants tulsi mata for example tulsi we see the plant but there is a personality tulsi mata there uh, so we worship the plant but the, we were worshiping the personality there actually so there is a person involved which is not impersonal so whenever we are uh, putting the foot on the dharti on the earth there is a person so we pay respect dharti mata we bow down to dharti mata because there is a person involved there 
Whenever there is a person, we become very sensitive and we deal it very carefully. So whatever the things we see around us is also the representation of personality. So we have to be very careful and very uh, respectful. Srimad Bhagavatam gives us this information as the supreme Vedic literature and it was personally instructed by Supreme Personality of Godhead to Brahmaji so that the leader of living entities might broadcast the message to all in the universe in order to teach the supreme knowledge of Bhakti Yoga. So here Srimad Bhagavatam was personally given by who? Lord Vishnu to Brahmaji. So there is a person involved. Brahmaji is also a person and uh, Bhagavan Vishnu is also a person. So there is a personality involved. You never think that this is impersonal or imaginary. There is no such thing as imaginary thing in the spiritual world. Everything is a person and there is a dealer dealing between one person to another person. Uh, so this is the relationship between two person is different. Like relationship in, between Bhagavan Vishnu and uh, Lord Brahma is guru and disciple. Brahmaji is a disciple and Bhagavan Vishnu is giving instruction to Brahmaji. So there is a personality. So when there is a personality, there is a relationship. Uh, so we have a relationship with Dharti Mata, we have a relationship with Surya Devta, we have a relationship with Chandra Devta, we have a relationship with Fire Devta, Agni Devta. Uh, fire is there within our body also, which is called as Jathara Agni. Uh, there is a fire within the belly. And this fire gives us digestion. So there is a fire within our body also. So there is a relationship with all the things around us. We have a relationship with everything. So further, Sri Prabhupada writes, Brahmaji in his turn instructed this knowledge to Narada, his beloved son. The same message of Srimad Bhagavatam. And Narada in turn taught the same message to Vyasadeva who again taught it to Shukadeva Goswami. So then here is the another person involved. So Brahmaji gave the knowledge to another person. What is his name? Narada. So what is the relationship between Brahmaji and Naradji? So son. Naradji is the son of Lord Brahma. So there is again relationship between two persons. Then Naradji gave it to Vedvyasji. What is the relationship? Guru and disciple. Then uh, Vyasadevji told it to Shukadeva Goswami. So what is the relationship? Father and son. So here you see there is a relationship. So there are two persons involved. And then Shukadeva Goswami telling it to Parikshit Maharaj. What is the relationship? So there is a guru and shishya, disciple relationship. So here uh, we are seeing that there are people involved in transmitting the message. And people are very important. We don't take people for granted actually. Uh, personality is very important. Through Shukadeva Goswami's grace and by the mercy of Maharaj Parikshit, we are all given Srimad Bhagavatam perpetually to learn the science of Absolute Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna. So in this way, through Parikshit Maharaj, then all the Bhagavatam is being translated. And uh, then at that time, along with Parikshit Maharaj, there was Sutta Goswami hearing the Bhagavatam. So, Sutta Goswami telling the Bhagavatam to Shaunakrushi and Adi sages in Naimisharanya. So, here we can see that Bhagavatam is a chain of disciplic succession transmitted from one person to another. And this is all started with whom? Bhagavan Vishnu telling it to, or Lord Krishna telling it to Brahmaji. So, this is how there is a personality involved, right? Unless and until there is a person, there is no communication. So when there was a two people, then there is a communication. So when the impersonalists say that the God has no form, then how will the God talk with you? If God has no mouth, then how will he talk with you? If God has no ears, then how will he hear your prayers? Uh, if God has no mouth, then how will he eat the prashad, food, bhoga which you offer it to him? So, God has all the senses. Bhagavan ke paas sab kuch hai. Aag bhi hai, kaan bhi hai, naag bhi hai. Some people say that God has no form. Those are, those are of less intelligent type of people. What can we say? So, here in this shloka, we can learn that God is, Krishna is who? 
Ajana. Ajana means he is a supreme personality of Godhead. Huh? Sampradai Shevam Ajanaho Jananam Parameshthinam Pashyatas Tashya Tadrupam Atmano Nayarunad Dharya. So in this way, the shloka describes that after instructing this science of Krishna consciousness, Srimad Bhagavatam to Brahmaji, Ajanaha, Supreme Lord, who is the Supreme of all the living entities, he disappeared. Nyayarunat. Nyayarunat means he disappeared. And Hari, Hari means the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, thus ends this shloka here. Hare Krishna.